Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I am super, super excited for today's video because I have never, ever posted one of these before. It's going to be a what's for dinner and I'm going to be sharing with you guys four of our dinners from this week, two of the recipes for those meals. Didn't record the other two because they were just like last minute kind of wing it meals. We had never tried them before, so I didn't know how they would turn out but we really liked them. They turned out great. So I will share those recipes and another what's for dinner in the future. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I hope you guys enjoy it just as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Monday night, we just decided to have some grilled chicken along with some grilled zucchini, mushrooms, and roasted red bell pepper Alfredo pasta. I just kind of threw it all together and as we're kind of getting a little bit closer to fall we are trying to fit in as many grilling days as possible before it gets too chilly outside but I'm just starting by cutting up my zucchini into pretty thick slices and also slicing up my button white mushrooms And I like to keep my red bell pepper into pretty large chunks because I do like to put these on the grill and just get a good char on them and then take them off, let them cool, and then slice them up and put them in my pasta. So I actually dice these up because I didn't want huge pieces of red bell pepper in my pasta. And on the grill, I'm using non-stick vegetable oil, cooking spray, some salt, black pepper, and the original blend of the Mrs. Dash, some garlic pepper, and I have just set out all my ingredients that I'm going to be putting on the grill on each little side table. And here's my chicken, just rinsed and patted dry. And before I laid my chicken on there, I'm just going to spray some of that non-cook spray on my grill. I think I may have forgot, <laughs> but I'm just going to spray that on there just so it doesn't get like terribly stuck on the grill. And then I'm going to lay my zucchini out on the grill in a single layer. And then I'm going to start to season it with the salt and pepper and my garlic powder and that Mrs. Dash seasoning. I'm gonna put it on both sides. So while I've got everything on the grill, I'm just going to run in real quick, put this baby bow tie pasta on to cook, and then I'm going to go out and get everything on of my grill that is already done cooking. So you can leave your bell pepper as large or cut it as small as you want to, but I just like to dice it up into little pieces and add it to my pasta along with just the classic ragu pasta sauce or alfredo sauce. <laughs> and then to this I'm just going to add some garlic powder and some black pepper and just mix it up really well. And then this is our meal after it got finished. It was so good. It tasted really just like light and fresh. And I absolutely loved, loved, loved the pasta and the grilled vegetables. They were so good. 
so Tuesday night we just had lasagna and I made some fettuccine alfredo. It, this was so good. I didn't really think anything about recording how I made it because last time I wasn't a big fan on how I made the lasagna, but I will definitely have to record this recipe and share it with y'all because it was so good. And then for Wednesday night, we just had some smothered chicken. I found the recipe online and it looked really good. I did not go 100% by the recipe because we didn't have everything to make it. And it is so typical of me to get to making something and not have all the ingredients. So I just fried up about a half a pound of bacon and cooked some panini noodles. And I just stuck two large chicken breasts in our air fryer. And after our pasta got done, I just added some of this coconut oil plant-based butter. It is so good if you've not tried it. And then after all that was done, I just put our chicken in a skillet, put some Swiss cheese on it and mozzarella, crumbled up that bacon and cut up some chives on it and then served it over the pasta. So Thursday night was taco night for us. I just started off by making some corn salsa. This is just one can of corn. I diced up about one jalapeno pepper in it, added one tablespoon of dried cilantro. It's best if you have fresh, but we just didn't have any on hand. Then the lighter pepper over there is a pepper we had in our garden. It wasn't very spicy, it was kind of sweet, but I just added that in there, about a quarter of a juice from a lemon. It's best if you have a lime, but we just didn't have any. And then just mix this real well and cover it and let it set in the fridge. In this skillet, I have a pound of ground turkey and a pound of ground beef. Cook some rice in this pot and then some shrimp in that back pot. And these are all of our toppings. We've just got some butter lettuce, some of that corn salsa, some other iceberg lettuce, and then we love making this little taco bowls in the oven, some cheese, sour cream, and tomatoes. And that's all of our toppings. So this is what my bowl looks like. It just has some lettuce, some of the ground beef turkey mixture, some of the rice, cheese, sour cream, ranch, taco seasoning, or taco sauce. And then I had seen people crumble up Doritos on their tacos, so I thought I'd give it a try. So Friday was our last night. It was just a really easy night. We won this one too. It's just chicken pot pie soup. And I wasn't sure about this, so I didn't share the recipe, but I will definitely have to share the recipe next time. And then we just cooked some grand flaky biscuit biscuits. But this was super, super good, and I 100% recommend this. It was so great. So that's all for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the meals we had throughout this week. And if you guys did enjoy it, please press the thumbs up button. If you don't miss out on any future videos, please press the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next one.